Today we're going to talk about the differences between real hunger and fake hunger and other benefits of the low carb keto carnivore diet. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another low carb keto carnivore chat. Today's uh, topic is about hunger. And I'll give you a little background here. Back when I ate the standard American diet, SAD, I was always hungry. And my diet consisted of all the worst things, you know, in retrospect. I had bread, I had bagels, I had juice, I had pizza, sandwiches, um, just bad, bad things. And I was always hungry. I was always hungry. I was snacking, I was eating Doritos. I, I always needed to have food. It's it's bizarre. And now throughout the years, I've understood, or I now understand, that eating those types of food just, you know, gets the next bout of food like lined up for you. Like eating the carby foods, even vegetables, certain vegetables or like starches, like potatoes, they just make they line up your next meal. You're hungry quickly. And quickly, I mean like, you know, four hours or less. Sometimes it's an hour or less. You ever eat, get a pizza pie delivered to your house and you have two slices and then, you know, shortly thereafter it's, it's the third slice and then, you know, you're sitting on the sofa and then eh, I'll have half another slice. It's three and a half slices you're up to now. And then four slices and so on and so forth. It, it, it's just weird. That's fake hunger because you spike your blood sugar and and that creates those hunger pangs. I, I, I'm convinced because I'm never hungry. I'm hungry slowly and, and naturally over time. It's never a, a forceful kind of um, hunger attack, so to say. I'm, I'm drinking that, uh, uh, what do you call it, the, the Henry's still. If you're not doing anything, you have a normal day at the office, you're not doing anything strenuous, your hunger creeps up slowly. And that's good because that's how you, your body naturally works. It doesn't scream for hunger, for food. But let me give you an example of real hunger. And like as opposed to like having your Chinese food an hour ago and still being hungry, even though you put a lot of food in your belly, I, I sometimes don't eat until late in the afternoon or I might even take a 24 hour fast, not on purpose. But on the flip side, let's just give you an example. Uh, yesterday I spent like eight or ten hours doing hardcore manual labor here at the house. Um, I'm lifting heavy bags of landscaping rocks, chainsaws, weed whackers, uh, a 600 pound lawnmower that I push. Uh, well, it, it has a motor in it, but I still have to schlep it around. For eight hours, ten hours, it was ridiculous. And I was, I had no problem with energy. I wasn't tired, I wasn't sluggish, I just did the work, got it over with, and then uh, that was that. Now, today, you know, my body's recovering. I, I, I use a lot of muscles. I was genuinely hungry today. I didn't eat any sugary things yesterday, nor do I ever anymore. But my body was, you know, telling me in like real, real signals that I was hungry. It needed, it needed fuel for whatever muscle damage I did and calories I burned. Um, so today I, I was actually hungry and I ate. And that's the good thing about it. It's a guilt-free replenishment, a, a guilt-free hunger. I was hungry. I'm like, my body's telling me, hey, dude, feed me. So I had my, I have tons of uh, uh, meat-based uh, leftovers. I had some uh, smoked sausages. I had, I had some burgers I made. With, uh, here's a great recipe, by the way, built into this little review here. If you ever have like a, I bought six pounds of ground beef at Wegmans for like 12 bucks. Awesome, awesome, 80% beef. It's not the best, but it, it, the value wise, it's, it's really, really good. And I also had some ribs, some uh, boneless uh, ribs I had uh, smoked on my grill a couple days earlier. I'm like, you know, pork, pork is a little bit of a problem for me because when I eat ribs, it gets stuck in my teeth really, really, really easily. And I have to floss like 10 times a day if I'm eating that type of food. So I said, let me take these last two ribs, they were in the fridge, and I, I ground them up in a, in a blender or chopper and made like uh, pork, uh, minced pork. And I mixed that in with the beef. And that, oh God, man. And those burgers came out, it was, it was like filet mignon meatloaf for me. 
Um, and that, that's just the recipe. But what I'm trying to say is, one of the benefits when you're doing low carb, keto, carnivore right, is that you have two ways of identifying hunger. If you're not really overly active and you're just having a normal average day, your hunger slowly ramps up. And that's good because you don't need to hit the cabinet or the refrigerator or the vending machine if you're at an office. Um, you just deal with it and when, until you can get to a, a place where you can have a good uh, low carb meal. But in today's case, I was not hungry in the old way where like, oh, I gotta have anything, give me some chips. And I was hungry. My, I was just like, okay, my, my body needs to eat now and I'm gonna eat now. So I went to the fridge and I got whatever leftover meats I had and I ate them and, and I didn't shovel. You didn't shovel to the point where you just ate blindly. Um, you ate, you knew, you sort of know when, when you're hungry on low carb that you know, I'm gonna have one sausage or, or two uh, hot dogs or half a burger le left over. You, you know, you, you don't put too much on your plate. That, that's really great. I'm like, I'm just gonna have a little meat and fill my my, my belly up with a little bit of fuel for the, for the muscle protein and, and once you, you're done, you're done. You don't need to keep eating. So that's just another benefit you, you will um, experience if you do the low carb keto carnivore diet. And I mentioned these three, by the way, low carb keto carnivore, because there's so much overlapping with each one and I'm not sticking to one um, camp or another and you could say low carb you know some people eat a lot of vegetables in low carb and that's fine for them if they can deal with it i don't do low carb i'm more of a carnivore type dieter but it's important because a lot of what i talk about applies to low carb or even the keto people because uh, you ketogenic diet basically is just burning fat for fuel uh, i don't follow the keto at all because it's too complicated. It's it, There's too many conditions, terms and conditions with it. So I, I do carnivore, but what I talk about mostly applies to, you know, it, it's applicable with the all all three. So so that's it. it. It's a good hunger and it's nice to, to respond to your body when it's telling you it needs fuel in the real way and not the fake way by uh, spiking your sugar and, and just eating for, for bad reasons. So that's it. If anybody has any comments on, on this experience, because I don't really see people talking about it in this way, because hunger is not equal, as you can see. Hunger is not equal. There's the fake hunger, and then there's the real hunger when your body just needs fuel uh, to uh, build. That's it. Have a good week ahead. Gotta get my drink.